Good morning, everyone. This is Ifat, your G Plus go to gal. And after a long break of being all over the world, we are starting again with this awesome, awesome show. Uh, today, we are talking about being a player in the global market. And not only a player, but actually, how do you position yourself to be the authority in your market in the global sphere? Um, in the world, in the internet. And some would say that you already are a player because of the internet, and it kind of flattens the world. So how do you take it to the next level, understand the cultures, know how to interact with people in different countries? Um, that's what we're going to talk about today. And to do that, we have with us the amazing Katja Berry from Germany. Hey, Katja. Hey. Thank you so much for being with us. This is great. I'm so excited. Yeah, thank you so much for, for inviting me. So yeah, it is going to be a very, very, very interesting discussion today. Yes, because we have a lot of people actually from all over the world who have been doing business all over the world. So it'll be an awesome discussion with everyone. Um, let me tell you guys a little bit about Katya. So she is um, an expert. She became an international business and expert coach. Um, she has been living in three different countries. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Three different countries. And um, she has been dealing on a business level with, um, with different people in different countries. She is um, helping businesses establish the relationship with foreign clients, expand businesses overseas, and create the most of international experiences. She is known as the global attitude architect, and all her work is based on her own personal and professional global experience. This is a word, Kathy. I just learned from you. An expat? Is that how you pronounce it? Expat, yes. It's short for expatriate. Which, by the way, you are an expat, Yifat. <laughs> and I didn't even know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I actually learned it up. I had to look it up. And expat means that you are living in a different country, right? And you are um, working as a foreigner in that country that you live in? Correct, yeah. The expatriate or the term expatriate means uh, that the person lives, well, uh, resides outside of their um, country of residence. But there is there is that fine line that people draw in an expat and an immigrant. You, so the people who, uh, who go out abroad to work, you know, on project-based uh, kind of criteria, so diplomats or people go to work there with companies and they bring their company, uh, uh, families with them and they go for two, three years. Those people prefer to use the term expat because it kind of emphasizes the fact that they're there and they're privileged to have to live this, well, what some might call a luxurious privileged <laughs> life and, you know, all their bills are being paid for by the company and the kids go to international schools and you get the fantastic health care and you get, you know, five or six different flights back home or somewhere else. Whereas, you know, an immigrant is somebody who goes abroad in search of a better lifestyle, a better life or work. So, you know, I'm not really sure how those interlap and where. I mean, I'm an expat in a sense, but then on the other hand, I don't think that I will ever go back home now, like to leave permanently. So perhaps maybe I am an immigrant in some way or another. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Well, I feel the same way. I'm uh, originally from Israel and been in the U.S. for 14 years. I can't really see myself going back. The mentality is different. And, um, and I think that's what we're going to talk about today is how do you communicate with people with different mentalities, different backgrounds, different cultures. But um, before we get into that, Katya, Katya I really want to know how did you get to where you are today? Um, what led you to becoming, to becoming an expert in international business? <laughs> well, let me give you a little bit uh, of my personal background because I think a lot kind of will explain why I do what I do. So I originally come from Russia, from Moscow, and uh, I was born at the end of the 70s, so I still remember the communist um, era of my country, so that's a huge experience. So it was for me when I was a kid. Uh, my little brother doesn't remember this, you know, that's there's a... Six years difference and a completely different person he is. So, and then at the age of 15, at the early 90s, uh, my mom and dad saw an opportunity to send me to start uh, to study abroad. So I went to the to the UK and um, I lived there for nine years. Thus, you can hear a bit of my accent coming through. 
Um, yeah, and basically I went to school then university and I started my first uh, proper work experience, my first job I had there. And I met my future husband who um, actually is British of an Irish origin. <laughs> and, and his family is very international, you know, they have people uh, who kind of married into the family from France and Japan and Ghana. I mean, seriously, we're talking about like proper international family. And, and then we moved to Germany because of my husband's uh, job. So there you go. So that gives you a little bit of an understanding, you know, on my personal level. And, uh, and then so since we've been here, we became parents, which, you know, great and wonderful and all of that. And our kids are now aged uh, six and four. They actually trilingual, and I have to say they're absolutely brilliant. And and it's a big, it's a completely different job uh, bringing up trilingual TCKs. That's another term that you might not be familiar with. Is a uh, third culture child. So that's a child that's been born outside of mom's and dad's place.